Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at top signs that indicate if your engine have bad engine knock sensor. We'll also include some troubleshooting tips in this video. A failing knock sensor can silently destroy your engine by allowing detonation or knocking to go unchecked. So, it is a very good idea to spot the symptoms before costly damage is resulted in. What does exactly the knock sensor do? It detects abnormal combustion. It could be abnormal combustion as a result of pre-ignition or a spark knock. Then it will detect that abnormal combustion and send signal to the electronic control unit to adjust ignition timing. This is the duty of the knock sensor. So by doing so, it prevents engine destroying detonation. Now, what are some of the symptoms that might indicate a failing knock sensor? Well, the first symptom is a check engine light that is illuminated on your dashboard. Codes like P0325 up to P0334, these are indications of knock sensor circuit malfunction. So, illuminated check engine light is the first indication of a, a failing knock sensor. Another symptom is number two, loud engine knocking or pinging noise coming from the engine. As we've said earlier, the knock sensor is responsible for reporting this abnormal combustion so that ECU can adjust the ignition timing properly. So in order to reduce the knock, the knock sensor signal is very crucial. But if there is no signal coming from the knock sensor or if there is wrong signal generated by the knock sensor, then loud engine knocking will continuously be heard. So sounds like marble rattling under acceleration are indications of a failing knock sensor. The other indication is reduced power and poor acceleration. If there is a problem with the knock sensor, ECU will retard the ignition timing too much as a safety measure, and that will cause reduced acceleration and reduced power. Another indication of a failing knock sensor is decrease in fuel efficiency. You know, when the ignition timing is not correctly set, that will result in inefficient combustion. That will cause costly running. So decreased fuel efficiency can also be a symptom. Rough idle or engine stalling sometime can also be an indication of a failing sensor. If the electronic control unit struggle to optimize timing, especially at low RPM, then maintaining a smooth and constant idle will be challenging. That might also result in engine stall. So rough idle can also be a result of a failing knock sensor. In extreme cases, Knock sensors can also lead to engine overheating. This is basically because these abnormal combustions, they increase cylinder temperature. They can increase the cylinder temperature and overall engine temperature will rise, leading to engine overheating. Also remember that this abnormal combustion is very damaging to the mechanical engine components. For example, it can result in spark plug damage. Detonation erodes electrodes of the spark plug. So if you happen to notice that there is a whitish deposit on your spark plug, that could be an indication of knock going on inside the cylinder. It can also result in a catalytic converter failure. So a failing catalytic converter can also be an indication of a failing knock sensor. Unburned fuel as a result of incorrect timing can overheat and clog the catalytic converter. So failure of the catalytic converter can also be induced by failure of the knock sensor. In some engines and some models, limp mode will be activated. That can result in reduced performance. So if the ECU detects the sensor is not functioning, it will go to safe but very low timing maps that can turn the engine into limp mode. The 11th symptom of a bad knock sensor is metallic shaving inside the engine oil. Severe knock can result in accelerated wear. You know, this severe knock is abnormal combustion is like a, a high impact load, high impact stress going on, especially on the bearings and piston. That can result in accelerated bearing wear and piston wear as well. So that can cause metallic shaving to be deposited on the engine oil. So in extreme cases, abnormal knock, abnormal combustion can also cause metallic shaving to appear. Backfiring and popping in exhaust can also be an indication of a knock sensor problem. Excessive fuel ignites inside the exhaust if the ignition timing is not correct. Throttle lag or delayed response can also be caused by a failing knock sensor. This is basically as the ECU hesitates due to false knock si signals, then the ignition timing will not be adjusted fast enough 
that can cause throttle lag. It, you will depress the accelerator pedal, but the engine is not responsive enough, fast enough. That is called a throttle lag. It could be caused by a failing knock sensor as well. Vibration at high RPM is also an indication of a failing knock sensor. Uneven combustion from timing errors can result in extreme vibrations, especially at high RPM. If you happen to notice engine is shaking and vibrating, that could be an indication of wrong ignition timing as a result of wrong signal generated by a, a malfunctioning knock sensor. This could also result in 15 symptom failed emission tests. Hydrocarbon emission from incomplete combustion will increase if the timing is not right. So that will be a result of incomplete combustion. So incomplete combustion can result in excessive hydrocarbon emitted to the atmosphere and that will make your vehicle to have a failed emission test. In extreme cases, if the knock sensor is faulty and if it is sending wrong signal to the electronic control unit, it can cause piston or connecting road damage. In extreme cases, there are tendencies where prolonged knock can bend connecting roads and it can also crack the piston itself. This is violent combustion. If the knock is not taken care of, it will be very violent combustion inside the cylinder that can lead to damaging these mechanical parts. Strong fuel smell can also be a result of uh, incomplete combustion as a result of wrong ignition timing. So if rich mixture is being supplied and if the ignition timing is retarded, for example, there will not be enough time for combustion. If the ignition timing is not correct, there will not be enough time for combustion that can result in strong fuel smell. Poor cold start performance can also be a result of a failing knock sensor. If the ECU can't optimize ignition timing for that condition, for cold condition, for example, that can result in poor cold start performance of your engine. And another symptom of a failing knock sensor is excessive carbon buildup. If you notice that there is excessive black smoke coming out of the exhaust, if you notice that there is excessive black soot on the valves, that is an indication of poor combustion and uh, it could be caused by wrong ignition timing generated as a result of a failing knock sensor. And finally, worsening engine noise over time can also be an indication of a failing knock sensor. Knocking gets louder, 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 and it will damage the engine progressively that can lead to engine failure. So these are some of the top symptoms that indicate if there is a problem with the knock sensor or not. Now, how can you check if the knock sensor is functioning properly or not? The first thing is scan. If there is an error code displayed, you have to scan it using an OBT2 scanner. As we have mentioned earlier, codes like P0325 up to P0334, those are indicatives of a knock sensor issue. And also check for wiring. Look for any fried wires, corrosion, or any interrupted circuit coming to the knock sensor. You can also tap slightly near the sensor uh, with a wrench. So if the ECU detects and adjusts the ignition timing properly, you can hear a change of the engine RPM. So tap it roughly and uh, check, this can also be done. If you have uh, an oscilloscope, you can also connect an oscilloscope and tap the engine block or the, where the knock sensor is mounted. If you see any vibration, if, if, if it detects any vibration, it will display a graphical uh, variation. So you can also use a multimeter for the test. If resistance should be measured. You should find resistance between 1000 and 4000 ohms. That is also very simple test you can do. So, if the engine is knocking but the sensor tests good, then check for low oil pressure, a faulty fuel injector, or excessive carbon deposit, as this can also trigger engine vibration. Always make sure that the knock sensor is functioning properly. Unchecked knocking can destroy pistons, it can damage bearings, and it can, it can scrap the entire engine. So, always make sure that you are attending to any abnormal noises, abnormal vibration coming from the engine side. If you notice knocking noise, power loss, or a check engine light, then it should be diagnosed as soon as possible. An easy fix can be done. Otherwise, if you hesitate to do the repair, it can lead to costly repairs down the line. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding some of the top symptoms indicating a failing knock sensor. If you find this video helpful and if you like what has been presented, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing, turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.